Okay, start beeping. <laughs> what the hell is that? Static. <laughs> I think Neo just took the red pill. Hey, everybody, welcome to Static Shows, Bob. Hey, everybody's Miles. Oh, my God, he's clearing his throat. I shouldn't have had him do the beeps. He has to clear his throat. He's Mr. Phlegm. It's like, holy. I Yeah, I know. Well, not today. I actually OD'd on Benadryl this morning, so. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, I didn't realize I was chewing up. I thought it was stomach pills. It was actually Benadryl I was chewing up. <laughs> <laughs> Words of the wise, do not chew up Benadryl. <laughs> <laughs> you ever chew up an aspirin accidentally? Yeah. Okay, it tastes just like that. Yeah, like, really? I had no uh, idea. Disgusting. Uh, mm. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. You can, if you want to, like, numb a canker sore, you can chew up an aspirin, stick it in your canker sore. What? It's a little hardcore, but it works. I've never heard of that. Seriously? No, I've never heard. Well, of that. I used to do it. I heard you if you used um. Like, um, like Maalox or something, or there's like a mouthwash or something with canker sores. It helps or something, or yeah. I don't, I, I don't get canker sores now. But when I was like a teenager or whatever, I don't know what the deal was. Yeah. yeah. No, I would just take an aspirin and I would like bite it in half and stick half of it on the canker sore and let it dissolve. Yeah. And then that part of your mouth will just be numb. I'm going to try it next time. There you go. Works for hemorrhoids, too. Huh. <laughs> That's so not a suppository. Holy crap. I have no, I'm joking. I have no clue about that. So. My poop shoot went numb. That's right. <laughs> nah. <laughs> then, then it's just shart. You just shart the whole time. Oopsies. Which you don't even know. Oop, oop, sorry. Oop. Uh, well, speaking of uh, sharding, no, just joking. <laughs> I was like, oh, here we go. No, I uh, I was traveling again this last week, and uh, <clears throat> I don't know why. So I, I get to this hotel. Actually, I was in Jefferson City at uh, a place called the Capitol Plaza. Mm-hmm. Which is a fairly nice hotel, you know. It's it's right there by the Capitol. Uh, I'm sure dignitaries and so forth stay there for the uh, you know state government. Mm-hmm. But I had to stay there, and so I I get checked in, and I you know get my room key, and uh, I'm gonna head up and drop off my stuff, and because uh, uh, then I think. I think I was going to dinner, but anyway, um, I get up to my room and I, I'm like, is this the right room? It's a handicap room. <laughs> okay. I thought they made a mistake or something because I don't need the, uh, you know, handicap room. You wouldn't think, but. Uh... Yeah, I wouldn't think. Maybe they knew something I didn't know. Right. So I'm all puzzled, but I don't want to say anything because, you know, I don't know what's going on. Did it come with a parking placard at all? Or? No, I didn't. I did not get a parking placard, no. But I will tell you, I've actually, this is not the first time I've gotten stuck in a, uh, a handicapped room. Well, a lot of times what happens is they are kind of overbooked and so then they, you know, just have to give those out rather than holding them, you know. Right. So I'm guessing that was pretty full because actually then the, the next day, I mean, the the place was lousy with old Marines. There was some kind of Marine conference there the next day. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I'm feeling bad because these guys all got like, I mean, these guys are, you know, world, like Korean War and stuff, you know. Oh, yeah. Older guys, they're yeah. walking with canes and everything. And I'm like, oh, I got the handicapped bathroom in my, you know, room. 
So I felt yeah, a little bit bad. What's that? You had like the hover around, right? You yeah, I got like free hover around usage. So, and, uh, yeah. So the uh, the funny thing was is I've actually had a couple of these rooms over the years traveling, you know, where you kind of get stuck with them. But right. this was probably the worst handicap room I've ever been in. <laughs> the best thing about it was the tall toilet. Because, I mean, toilet. you know, they have a higher toilet for the handicapped people. So you don't really have to bend. You don't have to, like, when you sit down, it's more like a 90-degree angle on your legs rather than, you know, less than that. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, it's hard for yeah. people to get up and down. Okay. And, uh, and it's got the handle on the wall, you know. So that was nice. What's yeah. that? What'd you say? You can brace yourself, like. Ugh. Yeah, I brace myself. The, uh, but it was nice because I'm fairly tall and I got longer legs, and so my legs normally bend way past ninety degrees on a regular toilet. So it was kind of nice sitting up high. Yeah. The throne was nice. Now, in other ones I've been to, and they have like the, the shower. It was like zero step in so like you just basically walk into the shower and you're in it right you don't have to step over anything right 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 this shower was the worst handicapped shower ever because <laughs> it, it was like you had to step up like you know like two and a half feet or something to get in the damn thing now it did have all the handrails everywhere you know but the problem was with all the handrails in there they didn't, like, you know, normally for all the fat people nowadays, they bow out the uh, shower curtain. Right. So that that way when you get in there, you don't feel claustrophobic. Yeah, right. Well, right. this one they didn't, and they had all these damn, you know, like, handholds. And so I get in the shower, it was, like, worse than your basement shower. No. Yes, it was so tiny. Yeah. It's like, you know... Yeah. I had just gone, uh, you know, I told you a couple of weeks ago, I was at this luxurious place with like the dual shower massage head thing going on. Yeah. And right. this giant walk in shower. You were thinking about me in the shower, which I thought. No, was I wasn't. But then, yeah. so yeah. this one is like the opposite. I could barely turn around without wrapping myself up in the damn, you know, shower curtain. <laughs> it was so tiny. Oh. Uh. So pleasure in the uh, shower. No uh, soapy wank, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was trying to think of a term when I was trying to blank. I'm sorry. Yeah, no soapy wank in the shower because it was so. Uh, I probably would have uh, accidentally uh, abraded myself with the shower curtain ah. had I done that. Oh my god! So, and then of course they have to have the uh, hand shower shower. So you know, normally these showers are already hitting me in the throat. You know. Sure. So with the hand shower, it's even worse because the damn thing was all loose, and so it kept flopping over. <laughs> so I'm trying to fit my fat ass in this tiny shower, and then I have to bend down to get my head underneath the shower head uh, to get uh, my... Yeah, this is creating a picture. I don't even <laughs> well, the worst part is I kept... Every time I had to get out, I felt like I was falling out of the shower. Because it's always slick, you know. And then I got this giant tall toilet right there. It just was awkward. Yeah. I, there's no way in hell somebody in a wheelchair would have been able to handle that uh, that bathroom, you know. <laughs> I was just right. like, this is... No wonder they gave this to me. These poor guys, these poor Korean vets or whatever, they would, they'd be like, you know, pissed as hell having this thing going on. I mean, I walk the pork chop hill and I go to shower in this little dinky. Uh, That's right. This little dinky thing. Uh, mm. I'd rather be peed on by geishas. <laughs> oh, that's the next street over. Yeah, so. <laughs> ah. So that was uh, interesting. And then when I first get there, 
I turn the, I always turn, you know, when I'm at a hotel, I don't know if you do this, but uh, I always crank on the AC, no matter what time of year it is, it seems like, and get it down to like, you know, 65, 64 degrees in there. Okay. I don't know why. It's just something that I do every time. I like it when it's like, you know, really cool in the hotel room. Well, the first night worked like a charm. Second night, I couldn't get... I had the thing... I kept pushing the button to go colder. Yeah. Never got below 74. I can't do that, Dave. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if they're like, watch... They're like, oh, look, he's not even handicapped. Take away his air conditioning. There's probably some little meter going off downstairs like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. What's this fat guy doing in the handicap? Oh, oh that's right. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Boy, you're a hotel. I guess I might do that a little bit, I guess. But I like to, like, leave the room for, like, go out and do whatever we're going to do and come back, like, hours later. And it's, like, totally frozen in there. Exactly. That's what I like. If that's the and fun part. Like, oh, let's go. That's the fun part. Right? Yeah. yeah right. You, right. Run, you, can, you will go around saying, turkey's done. Turkey's mm-hmm. done. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh, that that was kind of a weird uh, thing. The other bad thing was uh, they, you know, they always want to hide all the handicapped people. So I was like all the way at the end next to the ice machine. So everybody was getting ice all night, you know. Dunk, 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 dunk. And let me tell you, these Marines, they know how to drink still. These old guys I all had a beer going the, on. You picked the wrong uh, venue, I think. Yeah, it's just like, I'm like, hey. They had it going on. But then the, the, the first night I was there, great. Second night I was there, it sounded like somebody was throwing bowling balls down a laundry chute about midnight. <laughs> It was like, crash, bang, crash, bang, crash, bang. I wake up. I'm like, what in the hell? Yeah. And I never did figure out what that was, but I literally, it sounded like somebody was, you know, chucking things off the balcony or something. I don't know what was going That's on. That's old guys throwing shit, yeah, throwing shit up the balcony. Yeah, they're all drunk. Buckets of ice off We're the gonna repel! Drown them all! Yeah, could be. I wouldn't be surprised. Some of those guys look pretty damn tough. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't screw with any of them. I'm not making jokes. I'm like, I'm not making jokes. So yeah, so that was uh, an interesting uh, stay, interesting night stay. Handicapped. Yeah, I'm disabled. If you ever see uh, uh, IT Crowd, which is a British show, I know you probably never see it, but uh, there's an episode where the guy fakes being disabled. It's very funny. Oh, nice. I'm disabled. No, I think I lived it. He's he's uh, Irish, so anyway. But anyway, that's, you know, I, I'm still a little tired from the experience. And, uh, yeah. and uh, you know, thankfully, the tub drained, so I didn't have to stand in my own filth uh, like normally at the hotels. So. Oh, full of your pubes and whatever Yeah, else. who knows what's going on there. Schmegma and... You name it. Yeah, Ugh. I can't. I cannot imagine anybody taking a bath in a hotel bathtub. No. <laughs> you think? No. Nah, yeah. Mm. So what's going on with you? So I went in this handicap room. Really? No. Oh. Actually, actually, we did have a handicap room. Now that I think about it, when I was in Chicago, but it wasn't really. Besides, like, a doorbell, there was really nothing in the room that would suggest it was for handicapped people, which was weird. I don't know. Really? I don't know, yeah. Now that I think about it. Well, know. mine had a special sink, so you could get a wheelchair yeah. underneath it. And it had the big handles, you know, like the doctors oh. have, so they can oh. wash their hands. No, actually, this had none of that, actually, now that I think about it. Did it have a high toilet? No, there was nothing, no, there was nothing to suggest at all, besides, like, a button. Like a doorbell kind of button. Did you push it just to, just to try it out? I think you could push it like using your key card and then, uh, you know. Oh, here it comes. Oh, jeez. Right. I just 
to silence the crowd here. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the kids are doing. Oh, okay. They're getting so, your Pepsi. Okay, so, you stay away from my Pepsi. Yeah, I know. So, uh, anyway, so, so we were, at, we were in Chicago last weekend, and uh, it was the uh, day before Easter, the night before Easter, and I have this horrible dream that I woke up to. Uh-huh. Right? Okay. And I woke up. It had to be about 3 o'clock when I woke up. I had a dream that the cops had showed up. And they said, your brother is dead. Your brother? My brother is No, not your brother. My brother. My brother. My, <laughs> not your brother, no. <laughs> well, I just... Well, I, you're, I'm just... Yeah. Okay. So... So... Uh, and 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 I go. Well, what and anybody, nobody. Uh, I mean, you're like, damn. I'm not gonna gonna go on a free trip this year or what? Yeah, right, right. No, no, no free trip. Right, exactly. No. But I go. What happened? What the hell happened? They go. Uh, he died in a car accident. Oh yeah. I'm like okay, I could see that. Okay. But they're like, he was drunk. And we were trying to pull him over, and he was trying to get away from the DUI charge, and he flipped his car, and he died. Well, that's a weird one. Which, there's nothing funny about that, right? But I'm no, like, wow. <laughs> there's nothing funny about that. But it was so it was so real and upsetting, I actually, I actually wept when I woke up. I was weeping. That was just how much you paid for the Ditka dinner. Yeah, I know. I was like, a damn... <sighs> I paid twenty dollars for a hamburger. So I almost, I almost seriously called my brother like three o'clock in the morning to see if he was okay. Well, that doesn't sound like your brother though. He's he's not one to be drunk driving. No, well, no. I mean, it's out of care. I mean, he drives like a nut. True, but he's not a guy that would drunk, you know, drink and drive. Now know. your brother-in-law, on the other hand. Oh I, yes, I can see that happening in a heartbeat. <laughs> but, uh, so, uh, I called him up on Easter. I waited till nighttime to call him. Yeah. And now my family's all making fun of me, you know, because all I said was, hey, are you still alive? He goes, yeah, why? What's going on? I go, I had a dream you were dead. <laughs> now my family's all like, dad, you can't, dad, that was really rude to say to your brother. And what do you tell, he doesn't even know who you are. He doesn't yeah, even know. say it. How can, how can that be I, rude? Your brother thought we were related. Yeah, I know he did. I, he was mistaken. He thought you were our cousin on pot or something. <laughs> no, it's true. I had this dream. It's a true dream. I can't believe you wept. I wept. I really did. I'm like, God, that was so realistic. You Man. sure it wasn't just because you got laid? I don't, well, that might have had something to do with it, I suppose. It's <laughs> one year anniversary, I suppose. But. No, seriously, I did. I did. It was so weird. I I don't really have dreams like this. I know? can't believe I got laid. I can't believe it. Um, I, no, I really, I just, it was so, it was so realistic. I had to call him up. I finally called him up. Uh, was he okay? Yeah, he was in Florida. Yeah, he's all. What's he doing in Florida? He's visiting his in-laws. Oh, okay. But, um, man, it was, it was crazy. It was completely, and I told him, I know he probably thinks I'm crazy to begin with, but I said, are you okay? Are you still alive? Yeah, uh, he probably thinks you're crazy just because you called him because it never happens. I know, he's like, what are you, what's going on? What's, I go, I just, I had this crazy dream. He goes, yeah, but I don't drink and drive. I go, I know you don't drink and drive. <laughs> That's what's weird about the dream, though, you know? It was like something so, you know, and he's like, I had a dream about you. You lost 150 pounds. Nah. <laughs> That'd be a comedy. <laughs> no. Anyway, yeah, it was just crazy. Was so crazy. Yeah, that's weird. That is bizarre. It'd be like if someone said uh, Bob Lamont died and he was jumping out of an airplane. Right, that never happened. I'm not and jumping his, out of His airplane. parachute didn't deploy. It'd be like, oh my god. Yeah. I could so see that happening. No, I no, I couldn't see it. You know what I'm saying? It'd be just like that, you know? Yeah. I don't know. It was just it was very weird. It was not uh it was not funny at all. 
So what did your wife say to you when you were crying at wake up crying at the Chicago? Uh, she goes, "Honey, it's not like our wedding night. Quit crying." <laughs> you know. So. No, no, I didn't. I didn't wake her. I was almost gonna wake her up. I let her sleep because I finally woke up like seven thirty. But man, I go, man, you're like a weird dream. But it reminded it was me. So vivid and real. You know, like when my uncle used to get my nose, I thought you were going to take it. It wasn't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It was too, it was too realistic. I don't. Uh, weird. Oh, my God. I know. I usually, I, I usually have, you know, dreams like I'm uh, back in school and I don't know which class I'm in or, you know, I'm back in marching band again and I don't know the music or something. Or Yeah, or you're naked. Uh, I don't really have many naked dreams. Oh, that's because you're always naked all the time, so. Uh, I wouldn't say that. No, I don't think nobody, anyone wants to see that, even in their dream. Really yeah, do. oh no, I'm just saying, you see it in your own dream, so. No, I really don't have naked yeah. dreams. I you're really like, don't. oh, I'm naked again in my dream. Mm -hmm. No. I didn't have a cool dream where I, I was like in a chair that could float, though. That was kind of neat. <laughs> that was one of your fart dreams. Your well, then, uh, levitation. I was getting too high and out of control, though, at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Let me analyze I, these dreams. I don't even want to think about the death ones. That was just so You're weird. hoping your brother's dead. No. No, not at all. Just the opposite. Just... No! No! It's impossible! It's impossible! I know. That's how upset I was. I was like, man, <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I just think that's funny. Yeah. It's impossible. I know. I told him he could hold his liquor. I told him. I told him to stay away from that forty ounce, and he wouldn't listen. I told him. Uh, well, that's weird. But so, don't drink and drive, okay, everybody? Don't even. Yeah. Gosh. Man. Nice. Nice. Mr. I Downer. Drink? I know. Mr. Downer. So if you've had a, a weird dream, you can write the show or call in, I guess. At, um, yeah, I don't know the number off the top of my I head. I don't know the number, to tell you the truth. If I did, I'd give it to you. And you it's on the website, staticradio.com. <laughs> I know Bob had a dream a long time ago about shooting guns with blanks at zombies or something like that. Yeah. No, it wasn't zombies. I think I was killing just regular folks. Yeah, with blanks, though. You were firing blanks, I believe, is what you were dreaming Yeah, about. there was there was some of that going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you've had an upsetting dream, or even a funny dream, or something that we sh should know or shouldn't know, maybe you can just enlighten us. With if, that you've had, if you've had a dream about Miles being naked in your dream, that would be... Uh, or not. Or not. That would be a funny one. Or Bob being naked in your dream. Uh, that could happen. Or Bob's brother being naked in your dream. Uh, any, anything's possible. Anything is possible. Nobody's perfect. Anything's possible. That's true. True that. 